Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab, and today we've got another post bag. So we've got two items, but two very interesting items. Uh, this one says charger four times, and on this one there's a sticker on top of the actual contents. Well, yeah. So, uh, I want you to take a good look at this box, because I know what's in there, and it's not charger four times. You know, it's loose and there is nothing explicitly written on here so let's open this one which shouldn't be any a big problem since it's you know not really good packaged and it reveals these things now four times Charger. Can you already guess what it is? I certainly can. And you might have already seen these kind of boxes elsewhere, which is uh, common. But if you open them, then what is supposed to be a brand new Samsung cell should pop out. No. I'm not sure at all if this is a Samsung cell. Oh, the sticky tape is still on there. So now the foil sticks. I'm really not sure if this is a Samsung cell. It says Samsung. ENR 186530Q but yeah it could also be a fake very well is my camera even focused so I suggest we measure the voltage of one of these cells to see yeah, how they uh, arrived actually so the cell this one is rated at 4.3 volts let's put some load on it yeah, uh, I meant 3.4, not 4.3. So, this one is uh, okay, I think. Let's mark that one with a nice dot. So, uh, we know it's a, a reasonable starting voltage. Next one is at... 4, uh, again, 3.4 volts. So these cells should be brand new, so I'm expecting them to be the same voltage, since that's what new cells should be good for. Come on, number two, yeah, there you go. And yeah, 3.4. This time I said it correctly. That's the second one. On it. This is the last one. Three dot four. So I guess that they are all genuine Samsung cells. Uh, I still need to test the capacity. I'm going to figure out a way to do that without use using a fancy battery tester because I don't really have one. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. But it looks like that these cells are actually uh, genuine cells. These cells should have a capacity of uh, 3000 milliamp hours. And yeah. They're just like shown on the, the picture, as you can see. So, nice one. I'm hoping to test them uh, really soon. Because I'm interested if these cells are actually 3000 uh, milliamp hours. Because that means you can buy them at Banggood. And that's a uh, opening of a whole world. So, nice one. On to the next one. This one's pretty happy. 
it actually says that the terminal weight is two, um, 206 grams, which is, um, yeah, I think uh, that's correct. So let's open this one, cut right through it. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's still something in there. Oh, yeah, so that's correct. Please label as test parts for your precise, precision, precise measurements. Oh, well, it's a uh, time. Oh, I've cut through the. Uh, through the thing. Damn! A bag in a bag in a bag. How many bags can you have, man? That's really uh, bad for the environment. So now they're not really the same color as the ones I already have. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, if you take a look at the... Oh, let me grab that first, because it might start leaking. If you take a look at these two wires, these are Dynu wires too, but with a banana plug at the other end. And they've used the same molding for them. Um, no, no, not completely the same. Do they fit? Yeah, they do fit. And this one? Yes, they do fit. Well, I bought them because I needed a way to uh, safely connect a um, the end of a uh, node to safely split uh, connections coming from my power supply so that I don't have to, to bridge the ground wire with a, um, a resistor, cut resistor lead with a banana clip attached to the other end. You know, it's hard to explain because it's it's actually kind of a, kind of a mess. So that's why I bought these um, silicon... Oh, that's why I bought these uh, silicon wires. Um, yeah. That's why I bought these silicon wires, so that I could just plug them into the other end and, you know, give some power, actually. Um, they feel different, they feel kind of oily, I think. I'm not really sure if this is silicon, actually. Maybe this is oiled silicon or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, they smell kind of funny, kind of sweet. But yeah, and there are only three, four, five. There are only five uh, wires. I expected them to be uh, a little bit more. Have they included a? Wow, they included a ruler onto the packaging. That's okay. Well, I I, I guess so. So, banana plugs with wires, nice. Now, these are connection terminals, which are very handy to connect wires together, like that, and to make a good and safe, secure connection. Uh, oh, it shows that you need to, um, shows that you need to put a wire in there that's uh, stripped down 10 millimeters. And then just uh, put them down, and your wires should be uh, held in place. I've ordered five of them, so um, I might use this to power up a LED strip that is connected to a light switch. Uh, but I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do with these. It's mainly for uh, for testing purposes and uh, all that stuff, just to play with them. So, really nice. This was a bit of a short mailbag, but I've got another one uh, coming up uh, really soon. So uh, stay tuned for that one, and I'll see you uh, again soon. 
Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.